Welcome back everyone, I'm Lauren Rosado with Comp Performance Group. Whether you've already made the switch to electronic fuel injection, or if you're still considering that switch, there's actually a few words and phrases that you'll need to know. Today we have Jason, who's going to explain some of that EFI terminology with you. Hey everybody, as Lauren mentioned, today we're talking about electronic fuel injection, or as it's more commonly called, EFI. EFI refers to the injection of fuel into the intake manifold by different types of fuel injectors, which is controlled by an ECU. The ECU is sometimes referred to as the box or the computer, but basically it's the brains of an EFI system. Now, let's take a look at some other terms often used in connection with EFI. First up is MAP, which stands for Manifold Absolute Pressure. The MAP sensor measures the amount of vacuum pressure inside of a running engine. It then tells the ECU how much load is on the engine. In other words, how hard the engine is working. The information the sensor is picking up is important because the two pieces of data the ECU needs to work properly are RPM and load. Another valuable sensor in the EFI system is the oxygen, or O2 sensor. What the O2 sensor does is measures the air-fuel mixture in the exhaust system and corrects any errors in its fuel decisions. Up next is BPW, or base pulse width. Base pulse width is the amount of time an injector is opened by the ECU in one engine cycle. Once the ECU has calculated everything, BPW is the end result of how much fuel is actually put into the engine. If the ECU sees it needs to increase fuel, it does so by increasing pulse width. If it needs to decrease fuel, it decreases pulse width. A term related to BPW is IDC, or Injector Duty Cycle. IDC is the ratio of BPW compared to the total time of an engine cycle. IDC measures and indicates how much of an injector's capacity is being used in an engine. If an injector is at full capacity, it's a sure sign that the injector is too small. Another important EFI term is IAC, or Idle Air Control. The IAC is an electronic valve that regulates a controlled vacuum leak. That controlled leak allows for great idle speed control and can maintain consistent idle speed under different loads. It also can raise or lower idle speed when needed. Some EFI systems are equipped with a controller area network, or CAN. The controller area network acts as a gateway in that it allows the devices to communicate a large amount of information over a simple, high-speed, two-wire network. Since it provides data from all sensors, it eliminates most of the extra wiring necessary on vehicles not equipped with CAN. One of the primary components that uses CAN is the Transmission Control Unit, or TCU. The TCU is similar to the ECU in that it's a computer but the TCU only varies transmission behavior. Things like vehicle speed, shift points, shift firmness, downshifting, and torque converter lockup are some of the variables handled by the TCU. And all of this info is a result of a CAN connection. So let's review some of the EFI-related terms we've covered today. MAP, or Manifold Absolute Pressure, O2 Sensors, BPW, which is Base Pulse Width, IDC stands for Injector Duty Cycle, IAC is Idle Air Control, CAN or Controller Area Network, and last is the TCU or Transmission Control Unit. We hope that with a better understanding of electronic fuel injection, your EFI setup will have you cruising in no time. To speak to a technician about your EFI options, please visit us online or call the number provided below. Remember to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos.